Here in our studio audience, picked by a lucky draw, is Mr. Les Stapleton from Endicott, New York. Mr. Stapleton, if you match the person we call on the telephone, you two will split $1,200 today on the match game. And now, here's the star of the match game, Gene Rayburn. Good luck. Thank you, John. All right. As Johnny Olson just pointed out, $1,200 is what the phone call is worth today. We'll be making that call along about the middle of the show or so. Now, let's meet our celebrities. Delighted to have these two gentlemen with us here today. I know you're going to be thrilled to meet uh, one of the great left-handers of the American Leagues. Here's Whitey Ford. <laughs> Whitey. <laughs> Whitey, today your teammates are Mr. Don Rocco. Hello, Don. He's from Hello. East Meadow, New York. And there's Miss Susan Russell. She's from New York City. Please be seated. Good. Everybody comfortable? Fine, Gene. Good. You ready to have another go at it? Yes, sir. All right. Good luck to you and your teammates. Now let's meet your opposing team captain, a real natural in the world of baseball, and has been for a good many years and will continue to be. Here's Mickey Mantle. Hi, Mick. Mickey, that's Alan Silver from Bayside, New York, and Miss Barbara Sands from Somerset, New Jersey. All right, are you ready for it today? We're all ready. You were all even <clears throat> up here, tied up yesterday. It was uh, ended in a tie. Unlike baseball, we can end in a tie here. Both of uh, their teams won an identical amount of money yesterday. And now here we go. Remember, the object of the game is to match your teammates. Assignment number one, John was so generous he would give you blank. You complete that sentence with one of First assignment, John was so generous he'd give you... Let's see what you have on that card, Don Rocco. I said the shirt off his back. Good answer, in my judgment. Susan, what did you say? I also said the shirt off his back. Okay, so that gives you 25 points. And I agree with my teammate. There you go, for a first down and 50 points. Now over to Mickey's side. Alan, what did you say? I said the shirt off his back. So we have that four times so far. Barbara, do you make it five? No? Money. He'd give you money. All right, Mickey? I said anything. Anything. <laughs> Good old generous John. Name a kind of driver. A kind of driver. It's an easy one, I think. Well, let's see. No, there are a couple of good choices here that might make it difficult. All right, hands down. We'll begin with uh, Mickey's team. Now, Alan, may we see your card? I said reckless. Reckless driver. Barbara? Reckless. Reckless is a man. Gee, that kind of surprised me. That's what me. I was thinking about. I was thinking careless driver. Careless. How about careless and reckless for a match? Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, audience. You really intimidated the judges that time. <laughs> so you're up to 50 points. Now over to uh, this answer here. Don? I said reckless. Reckless. No one's come to my answer yet. Susan? I also said reckless. Well, I'll be darned. Whitey? And I said safe. Safe. Aw. Oh. You know what I was thinking of? Taxi driver, truck driver, cab driver. All right. Complete this sentence with one or more words. Has the blank man come yet? Has the blank man come yet? Or blank man? Blank man. All right, this team is ready, hands down over here. Has the blank man come yet, Barbara? I can't think of a thing. Can't think of a thing? Sorry, the blank man. Dogs bite him all the time? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
list. <laughs> I could still be a lot of different men. That right? could be a lot of different men, yes. All right. Alan, what did you have? So the postman. The postman. Barbara, what did you have on that card? I bet you never guess. No, I'll never guess. Oh, the mailman. That's an interesting answer. That gives you 25 points. Mickey, what do you say? I said the milkman. The milkman. Yeah, dogs bite him all the time. The... All right. Now one over here will win the game. What do you say, Don? Mailman? Mailman. Susan. I say milkman. Milkman. Whitey. Milkman. That wins the game. <laughs> Audience match in a little bit for you. Right now, let's see Ed Rogers learn about... Try being Ed. This time, Mr. Les Stapleton, we ask you to write down your answer to this. Name something you would take along on a picnic. Name something you'd take along on a picnic. And just uh, write it down on that card you have in front of you there. And then we'll check with you a little bit later. Now, if Mr. Stapleton's, Stapleton's answer matches the answer we get from our telephone player in a couple of minutes, why, they will split the $1,200. Now we go to Mickey uh, Whitey Ford's side here for the audience match. From the week of uh, March 6th, it's $50 additional for you each time you match the answer given by the 100 people here. Name something a vendor sells in a city park. Something a vendor sells in a city park. What do you think they said to that, Don? I'd say hot dogs. Hot dogs. Susan? Hot dogs. Whitey? Peanuts? Peanuts. Turn around and see what they said, and here it is. Peanuts is right. <laughs> you never turn around and look, Whitey. Are you afraid? I'm superstitious. <laughs> you think you're... When I don't look, it's the right answer. Oh, if really? I look around, it's always the wrong answer. Oh, okay. Don't look. You don't have to look there. Okay. So thanks to Whitey, another $50. Now fill in this blank as they did. Blank meter. M-E-T-E-R, or blank meter. What do you think, Don? Parking meter. Parking meter. Susan? Parking meter. Whitey? I agree. Parking meter. The answer given by the audience was... Parking meter. Right? <laughs> it's working, Whitey. It's working. That's another $150, and you're up to $300. Name an occasion on which you had your picture taken. Name an occasion on which you had your picture taken. Now, how would the average person here answer that, Don? I would say graduation. Graduation. Susan? Graduation. Whitey? Wedding. Wedding. All right. The two of you look. Whitey won't look. <laughs> <laughs> the answer they gave was... Wedding is <laughs> Three out of three for you, Whitey. I figured they asked older people. Older people. <laughs> All right, thanks to Whitey's good judgment, another $50 for his team, and therefore they end up with a grand total of $350. <laughs> I just want to remind you right now that tomorrow, Mickey and Whitey will have as their uh, teammates fellow members of the Yankees baseball team. There'll be Yankees all over the place here tomorrow. Now let's start another game. Complete this sentence with one or more words. Everybody plays once again. It's expensive to blank in New York City. It's expensive to blank in New York City. Hands down on this side. We'll begin over there. Alan, go. I said live. To live in New York City, Barbara. Live. Live as a match, 25 points. Mickey? I said eat out. To eat out is right. It's quite expensive. All right, one match over there. Now let's see if they score here. Go, Don. Well, I'm having second thoughts, but I said shop. Shop. Susan? Live. Live. Whitey? I said live. Live as a match, 25 points. <laughs> Name something the colors red and white suggest. Name something the colors red and white suggest.
These people are ready. We'll begin over here now with Don Rocco's answer. Peppermint. Peppermint. Susan. Flag. Flag. Whitey. Red Cross. Red Cross is what I said, because it is a red cross on a white field, and that's, uh, but there must be other good answers like that, are there? Peppermint was not bad. What else? The barber pole. That's another good one. Alan, what did you say? I said the flag. The flag. Barbara? Flag. Flag is a match. Mickey? Finally got together. Flag. Flag. <laughs> Yes, Mickey, I've been wondering when you were going to get together with Barbara there. You've been avoiding it all day long here. I don't understand that. Now complete this sentence with one or more words. John's blank worshipped him. John's blank worshipped him. All right, that team is ready. We'll begin over here when they're ready. Okay, Don, go. Wife. His wife worshipped him. Susan. Wife. Wife is a man. Whitey. I'm sorry, children. His children worshipped him. All right, one match there. Now one on Mickey's side wins it. Alan, go. Said brother. His brother worshipped him. Barbara. Wife. Wife. Mickey. I'm a guy. Wife wins the game. <laughs> So you get the $100, you win the game. That entitles you to the audience match coming up in a little bit right now. Being a mother means being prepared for emergencies and knowing what to do, for instance. In just a minute, Les Stapleton will try to match his answer with someone at home on this telephone. But first, let's pause right now for a word about a product in which you will be interested. taste America loves best, don't forget the French's. Now in the thrifty family size, too. When their appetites are hearty, bigger than a country mile, set their taste buds perkin, serve up country style, French's country style, country style mashed potatoes. Make them with French's new buttery farm recipe. For big families who love mashed potatoes, make yours country style. French's country style. Gene Rayburn, the phone call is now ready. We're calling Columbus, Ohio, and Mrs. Esther Abelman is on the line. Oops, I'm sorry, I've got to pick up. <laughs> 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 Don't go away, Mr. Abelman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this is Gene Raver, the match game. Are you there? Yes, hello. Good. How are you? Thank you for your... I'm well, thank you. Thank you for your patience. And, and now, listen, here's the way it works. Uh, your number was selected at random from the phone book. Huh? And I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked Mr. Stapleton here in our studio. If you match, you will split $1,200. Oh, my. Now... <laughs> Well, listen, you... <laughs> I'm not sorry we called you. I hope you're not. I just want to caution you, your first answer counts, and it must be an exact match. Yes. Good luck to you, Mrs. Abelman. Thank you very much. Here we go. Name something you would take along on a picnic. Something you'd take along on a picnic. Something I would take along on a picnic. Yes. What do you say? Basket. A picnic basket. Now, if Mr. Stapleton says picnic basket, you split the $1,200. May we see it, please, Mr. Stapleton? Paper plates. Paper plates, he said. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Stapleton and Mrs. Abelson, Abelman. You don't win the $1,200. However, we do have a gift for you. Both of you will receive the Sturbridge decorator clock from West Clocks. Thank you for playing the match game. <laughs> right, bye.
Now, tomorrow, somebody else here in the studio and somebody at home will try for $1,300. We'll be calling someone somewhere in the country. One of these days, we might be calling you. All right, let's go to Mickey Mantle's side now for the audience match of the week of March 13th. Occasionally, the date has a bearing on an answer. $50 additional each time you match the people. Name a famous museum outside of New York. A famous museum outside of New York. All right, Alan, which one do you think they named? I'll say the Louvre. The Louvre. Barbara? Smithsonian. Mickey? I'll say Smithsonian. I don't know. All right. <laughs> I don't either. We'll all find out together. Here it is. Smithsonian is right. Get you Alan went a little far outside of New York, didn't he? <laughs> so there you're up to 200. Fill in this blank as they did. Blank. Hose. H-O-S-E. Or blank hose. Alan? Fire hose. Barbara? Fire hose. You like that. Mm -hmm. Mickey? I'll say fire hose. You say that. All right. Turn around and see what they said. Here it is. Garden hose. <laughs> Third and last one, name the room in your house where you most listen to the radio. The room in your house where you most listen to the radio. What do you think they uh, said to that? Is it a bedroom? Barbara? Huh. Um, ooh, I don't know whether it would be the kitchen or the bedroom. Want to toss a coin? <laughs> uh, I'll toss I'll... a coin for you. Oh, okay. What do you say? Uh, head, kitchen, tails, uh, bedroom. Well, uh, listen, I could say anything because no one could verify it. <laughs> so I better verify it with this gentleman here. What is it? The kitchen side. Kitchen. All right. Mickey? Living room. <laughs> Living room. All right. Turn around, see what they said, and here it is. Kitchen <laughs> Well, there's $50, thanks to the lucky toss of a coin and a grand total of $250 for this side. We have a teeny weeny bit of time. Let's start another game. The team that's ahead when the whistle blows wins it. Name something the butcher uses. Name something the butcher uses. Do it quickly, if you please. All right, hands down. Don, what have you got there? Knife. A knife. Susan? Knife. Butcher knife? Knife. Three matches. Three answers identical means two matches. And a grand total of 50 points. Alan, what does a butcher use? I said a cleaver. A cleaver. Barbara? Knife. And Mickey. Knife. Knife is a match. Whitey's team is ahead. They win the game and another $50. Congratulations to you. Now, here's something interesting. A brilliant idea for all of you. There's an old friend in this bag. You'll recognize the face, but that's all. Meet new energized oxidol inside everything so improved your ideas about whiteness will seem old-fashioned here's why these are oxidol's famous bleaching crystals now they're greener more powerful with more color safe bleach than ever before to give you a brilliant bleach white a deluxe white okay boy stand here for a minute we're going to have a little demonstration using some permanent ink after letting these tough stains set we soaked and washed them according to package directions. One in new energized Oxidol, the other in a leading plain detergent. That's it, boys. Put on the shirts. Now look. See how white Oxidol got it? New energized Oxidol gets out stains better to give you a brilliant bleach white, a deluxe white. New energized Oxidol. 
Both teams won money. We're delighted to report over on Mickey Mantle's side, Alan and Barbara, $250 for you. Thank you for being with us today. And Mickey, you're going to bring some friends with you tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to have uh, the uh, outfielders and infielders against the pitchers tomorrow. All right. Okay. Now, over here, Susan and Don, 450 for you. You know, you won 350 in the first game, and then that incomplete game brought another 100, and that makes a total of 450. Congratulations to you. You're happy about that? Like it. Good. <laughs> what are you happy about? You're smiling over well, there. Well, like... uh, I want to see those pitches tomorrow. They say pitching 75% of the game, Gene. We'll see you tomorrow. Huh? All right. <laughs> Let's see if it holds up here. Okay, Whitey. I want to remind you that tomorrow, somebody else in the studio audience and somebody at home will be playing our long-distance telephone match for $1,300. Bye. Contestants in our telephone match will receive from West Fox an authentic reproduction of early Americana. Server.